Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Michiana Tech Help Show, and uh, I decided I'm going to change my format here a little bit, um, go back to the way I used to do things. Uh, I'm going to do one series at a time. I notice my bouncing around tends to cause a lot more frustrations than it does help people. Uh, so I'm going to stick to the Gmail one for now, and I'm going to get through this one, and then I'm going to move on to probably uh, back to WordPress, and uh, we'll move on from there to a bunch of other things. Of course, I'll have something absolutely interesting crosses my mind in the process, uh, then we're going to have to stop and do it. Now, as you guys know, uh, the Gmail service has lots of space, as I am showing you here right here on the page. It has 7.6 gigabytes of free space right now when you register for this service. Now, you can actually convert that space into remote storage. This is one of my favorite tips that you can do uh, with the Google Gmail service, and it literally converts your email into a storage device that you can store all your files on. I use this all the time in college, to store all my files and documents uh, such as classes and I'm sorry such as uh, homework assignments and projects and uh, it worked absolutely incredible so let's go ahead and get started on that uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go to my website that's pcmichiana.com p-c-m-i-c-h-i-a-n-a.com and at the top you're going to want to select free downloads now I just added this download not five minutes ago so uh, you're going to want to scroll down to the section under office tools and uh, you're going to look at the Google Gmail Drive free remote storage converter. Now you're going to want to download this. So I'm going to click on that. And then uh, let's get this bad boy downloaded. As you can see, I can click right here to download it. And it'll redirect you to File Hippo, which is a, a very reliable source. And uh, <clears throat> then I'm just going to click download the latest version. And this is a very small program. So if I go ahead and uh, download this to my desktop, I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to open it up, and it even doesn't extract it, extract itself. So we're going to want to actually copy all these files over to our desktop. This is very temporary, so I'm just going to copy these right over. Uh, if you don't have like WinRAR like I do or 7-Zip, you can actually download at my download section of my website as well. Uh, let me show you where that's at. So let's go to free downloads, and it's under file extractors, I believe. Yeah, here it is, File Extractors, and that's 7-Zip Extractor. You can download and install that. So once I have everything copied over to my desktop, let's just double-click on Setup. And literally, it's pretty much instantaneous. Now, this is, of course, your uh, <clears throat> instruction sheet here, and they're giving you a warning. It says the shell namespace extension creates a virtual drive in Windows Explorer, allowing the user Google Mail account, and allows you to do basic file manipulation, such as copy and delete. Now what it'll do is it actually creates an email in your Google Gmail every time you copy a file over, and then if you delete the file, it'll delete that email. So if I scroll down here, it's got all the other uh, legalese, so make sure you you know don't violate any copyrights or you read all of his <laughs> requirements for that. Now once you're done, it's very simple, just go up to your My Computer, and if you don't have a My Computer on your desktop, you can select the Start button in the bottom left corner and select Computer. And you'll have this new Gmail drive that shows up under Other. Uh, this is in Windows 7. Windows XP, it should also show it somewhere. And then when you double-click on it, me, I have to right-click because I'm already logged in. You can click Login As. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and log in here. And you can select to auto-login if you'd like. And then select OK. Now after you've logged in, you can just double-click on the drive. And as you can see, it's an empty folder. I actually haven't copied anything over to my current Gmail account. I have a couple of them. So as a test, what we're going to do is, is we're going to actually drag uh, an image onto it. Now this is a PNG image I had. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this over and copy it into the Gmail drive. And it's officially on my network storage. So now to double check it, I actually want to log into my Gmail. So let me go ahead and open up my email. And I'm going to log in here. And there it is. Gmail FS. I can select it. And there's the image I just uploaded. And so at this point, wherever I'm at, I can, uh, I can access it either directly through a remote storage on a different computer, or I can log into my Gmail and download it at any time. Now let me go back to my inbox here, because one other thing you can do, like I was saying, is you can actually go back to your drive and delete it. and you'll see it update here very quickly there it goes so that's all there is to this video that's how you convert your 8 gig storage 
basically to get free 8 gigs of remote storage uh, from your Gmail account into a network storage drive. And you can access those files anywhere you have email or internet and uh, anywhere you have that network storage drive mapped. So if you like this video, stay subscribed. Uh, don't forget to leave comments and ratings. And uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because I have plenty more videos coming. And subscribing makes sure that I keep making them. Thanks again.